Hi YouTube and welcome back to my uh, Let's Play World of Warcraft on Thursdays. Sorry I put this up a day late. Usually I put these up on Wednesdays and I apologize. Um, I got my, my days confused this week. I've uh, actually been uh, quite busy with, uh, with work and everything and uh, just completely uh, missed the fact that uh, that yesterday was Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Anyhow, so final five-man instance slash dungeon slash whatever you want to call it in uh, the Burning Crusade um, expansion of World of Warcraft. This is Mag Magister's Terrace. And this was actually the first instance I ever tried to solo once upon a time. I think... I think this was, yeah, this, uh, for Burning Crusade, the, the max cap, um, level cap was level 70. Um, previously in the original vanilla version, the, the cap, cap, level cap was 60. And I don't remember if, I think I tried to, uh, to level this, uh, when I hit level 80. I tried to solo it at 80. And I remember getting myself completely spanked in the process. Um, and I ended up getting my husband to come with me. And the two of us together were able to get through this um, at level 80. But I was not able to solo this at level uh, level 80 at all. Just, and I haven't tried to come back since. And so this is one of the first times I'm actually running through this solo. Um, completely solo by myself. And of course at level 90 it's, you know, a um, piece of cake. And, you know, obviously I think they've changed some of the mechanics throughout the game um, since level, the level 80 stuff with the uh, Lish King and things as well. Um, and I, I, this is one of the ones I did not run with, uh, with the guild, uh, at all. So, um, I've only done this, um, you know, solo attempts and then finally uh, running it with my husband, uh, when we were playing together. He's actually stopped playing <laughs> entirely. Um, and I'm still enjoying the game. I really am. Um, and it's been it's been kind of fun going back um, to all these uh, all these old dungeons and, and things and and kind of reliving some experiences and things like that as well. Um, I remember when they when they first launched the Sunwell um, part of the uh, the Burning Crusade expansion near the end before they uh, before Lish King came out and uh, my husband and I uh, would play that like. All the time, uh, we ran through the uh, the daily quests and stuff, and it was a lot of fun. All right, so we just took care of the first boss there, and uh, we have a number of different um, quests and things. And here, I'm just checking to make sure that I'm not missing something in this part of the um, this part of the dungeon before, because I'm I'm seeing this like missed stuff here. And I'm like, is that the essence I was needing? No, I guess not. Okay. <laughs> um, in fact, the uh, the essence I was needing is, is actually coming up with the next boss. I just had to make sure. I get rid of all these worms. Um, and, I, and right now you'll notice that I'm also turning off... Um, there we go. I turned off all the... Um, little uh, health bars above the enemies and stuff because there's just too many of these worms in here <laughs> and just eventually gets the screen gets too cluttered and stuff and these guys are really I, I love just using my my uh, my uh, one frost blast I forget the, the actual name of it um, and just dropping them like flies oh yeah and then here before I forget I need to uh, talk to this poor dying blood elf over here and I need to, so I need to do a scrying thing. So, all right, I'll keep moving on, and uh, I need to take on this energy being thing, whatever it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, at level eighty, these guys are 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 difficult to solo. At least they were um, at the time um, when I hit level eighty in in. In Lish King, that's one of the first things I did was try to come here and see if I could solo this, and because um, I—that's when I actually started doing dungeon soloing. Uh, was back then, um, I'd run a lot of the dungeon solo, um, a lot of the vanilla ones, and uh, then I started getting to um, 
this level and I was I ran into problems. Okay, so we're scrying and this is a, a cutscene um, of the surrounding area here and you can see there's demons patrolling everywhere um, and, and things like that. But, um, oh yeah, this is one of Adal's um, crystal entity compatriots. Um, and then we see there's a figure, um, turns out to be a human female, uh, rather innocuous looking human female, but she's trapped in this kind of energy bubble being generated by these Drenai down here, or these Exarchs, or, like, I guess they're not so, I think they're not supposed to be Drenai, I think they're supposed to be the, the evil demons that the Drenai look like, or something like that. And then there's this forbidding figure and stuff. And this is all um, kind of a preamble to the um, the final raid um, that people run for Burning Crusade um, to kill the I forget what the the, the boss's name was because again as I've said before I don't raid and here we've got a nice blue dragon showing up um, he uh, he's of the blue dragon flight and then this is his human form. And here I kind of talk to him and I'm like, who are you and stuff. And if you're interested in, in reading this, and if I click away too fast, feel free to pause and, and read if you wish. Um, but, um, yeah, so that, that cutscene there was, um, I, I believe it was a, a hint or something or a, a, a preview of what you would see with the, um, with the final raid um, and things. And I think... Either she has to be um, rescued, or I forget exactly what, because, again, I don't raid, and I did not participate in the raids, so I honestly have no clue <laughs> as to what any of that is, um, other than to know, you know, just from, from chatter from from the guild that uh, that it had something to do with, um, with that raid and everything, so. Oh, yeah, and here I thought I'd... Also asked. There's the last last question there. I'd forgotten whether or not he actually takes me to the next part of the uh, instance or not. Um, it's been a while. I mean, like I said, the the last time I ran through here with my husband um, was during Wrath of the Lich King, and that was a few years ago. <laughs> so it's been a while. Um, okay, so I'm trying to figure out oh, how am I gonna get through to that you know you, you can see there's the, there's a hallway um but i don't there's a wall here so i'm like how do i get over there um and then i realize oh the connection point is outside on the um on the balcony and i'm like oh whoops <laughs> me and my great sense of direction in real life i have i actually have a decent sense of direction but for some reason in games i'm like okay i'm lost <laughs> All right, there we go. There's the door, and now we'll face the the final bosses and things. Halls of Theory. All right, so we'll take out these sentinel things. It used to be very scary, but they're now like <laughs> they're so easy to kill now. It's like butter. <laughs> All right, and a uh, whole, whole group of trash mobs here. Then we have Priestess Delisra, or whatever her name is, that we need to take out. And thankfully, these guys don't aggro very easily, so I'm just able to just run right past them. So it saves quite a bit of time. Um, I'm sure back in the day with, um, with a five-man going through here, you'd end up just basically killing all the trash mobs. Um, as, I, as I recall, that usually is, is what you did, but at this point, there really is no point in doing it. I mean, except for, you know, when if you're at level, the trash mobs will often drop, you know, decent gold, that kind of thing, so it's worth killing them all. But since I'm so far um, above level, um, the uh, the risk well there's no risk but the, the reward isn't really worth the the effort um the time and if i really 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 wanted to get the money 
you know, it's such a quick run through that, you know, what after I'm done recording, I could run back and um, pick up all the all the money that was dropped and stuff. So if I really, really wanted to, I generally don't. All right, and I believe this is the final boss. Yes, he is. And this guy, he's also slightly long-winded, and he just kind of chatters on for a while there. And you can actually read the text of what he's saying um, over on the uh, on the left down there. The red text is him kind of blathering on about something or other. And he's got this um, this kind of green crystal kind of embedded in his chest. It's probably what's corrupting him or something like that. But, um... Yeah, all right. Shut up, Ruddy, so I can kill you. All these silly uh, braggart bosses, and the ones that brag are usually not even like they—they they work for someone else ultimately. <laughs> it's funny. It's like you know, I basically have killed him, but he's still standing there because he has. There's this final bragging scene that he has to do. So. <laughs> before he collapses and dies. <laughs> so dramatic. Oh, and I got a nice little uh, um, phoenix hatchling. Um, so that's kind of cool. Alright, so now we get to turn in the quests. Even the quest uh, rewards aren't really worth that much. I mean, I get some gold for it, but... You know, four gold a piece. You know, at least they're getting, you know, they used to be silvers only, so it's getting a little bit better. And uh, this place actually has a back door exit. Uh, there's a, um, a scrying orb back there that lets me um, scry my way out of um, this hall so I don't have to run all the way back through, which is nice. I like that. All right, so potentially next week um, I might run Karazhan um, if... I am a complete fail at that, then I will get into the um, beginning of Wrath of the Lish King um, instances. So either way, look forward to next week. Thank you for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye.